Anybody would treat a human being like that. I don't know why many Saudi Arabians are treating Africans like this and getting away with it. As you know, this is not peculiar to Kenyans. Ethiopians are treated the same way. I've talked about this in the past. In fact, there are several pictures of Ethiopians killed in Saudi Arabia, men and women. But how come this is still happening after they deported thousands of immigrants from Saudi Arabia? How come they are still treating people like this? I found out that Saudi Arabia's sponsorship system known as Kafala ties employment visas to employers, indirectly turning voluntary servitude to slavery. They do this to Asians as well. They would arrange a resident permit by recruiting agencies that match the worker to the household and then they would charge both parties a recruitment fee. So now the workers will become indebted to the agencies. A typical work day for domestic workers in Saudi Arabia is between 15 to 18 hours in a day. Imagine somebody working straight for 18 hours in a day out of 24 hours and they pay them about five to seven dollars per day. And guess what? Some of these employers would refuse to pay the employees for a long time. In fact, sometimes for years they may not pay their employees. They would say, we're giving you food, we're giving you a place to sleep even if it's outside. They would say, what do you need the money for? So many employers have actually killed their employees if they keep asking for their money. There are no offers days, no rest hours, there, there is no vacation, no nothing. As you know, slavery was officially abolished in Saudi Arabia in 1960. At that time though, there were about 300,000 slaves still in Saudi Arabia. Even though it was abolished on paper, hey, the practice continued unofficially. First of all, when will our people in Africa learn that the grass is not necessarily greener on the other side and that not all the glitter is gold? I mean, we've been hearing stories like this for a long time, for a long, long time, yet there are people who are still bent on taking their chances. As bad as it was for Joyce, she's actually very lucky, very, very lucky because several women were not able to escape for years. I've read stories of women who escaped after two years, after four years, and some were actually killed by their owners. Some men are treated the same way. In fact, two years ago, a Saudi man was advertising a male slave on Facebook and he stated that they've castrated the man, rendering him important. This is the English version of what he said. So this is the thing. If you're not going to Saudi for tourism or for pilgrimage or to take up a professional job, please be careful. Please and please be careful. Again, I wish the African leaders would just develop love our countries so that our people would not continue to suffer in the hands of such people in the name of searching for better life. And lastly, if you know someone or someone who knows someone who's desperate to get out of his or her country without knowing anything about where they're going, and please and please warn them, warn them to be familiar with where they're going, at least be able to speak the language of where you're going. Don't go anywhere because you got a contract from anyone. Really, Saudi Arabia, for how long would you treat Africans like this? And you know, I can't help but remember that hashtag that was started by Ethiopians when so many of them were being deported from Saudi Arabia. They had this hashtag called someone tell Saudi Arabia. Someone tell Saudi Arabia that you cannot continue to treat human beings like this. Someone tell Saudi Arabia that just because the color of our skin is different from yours doesn't mean you're better in any way. Someone tell Saudi Arabia that the world is watching. We know what is going on. Someone tell Saudi Arabia that enough is is enough. Someone tell Saudi Arabia that this will not go on for long. Someday Africa will take its rightful place among the rising continents. Someone tell Saudi Arabia. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real.